Hi there folks, I'm James and welcome to episode 36 of I Don't Want to Hold Your Hand, the Beatles Quarantine Catalog, where I am attempting to play all 248 Beatles songs in chronological order while at least I am still stuck inside. As always, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Venmo in case you'd like to subscribe, follow, or support the series. If you don't have any change to spare, please consider just sharing this video with some of your Beatles friends. Uh, that helps me out a lot. In the spirit of the Beatles, particularly John Lennon, keep protesting, keep making noise and music. And in the meantime, let's talk about the Beatles. Last episode, we talked about the Beatles cover of Money, That's What I Want, which was unknown in the UK until the Beatles stumbled across this American recording in Brian Epstein's record store. Well, as I mentioned in that episode, the Beatles had made a habit of searching Brian's record store for those random, obscure American albums. And that is also how they came across today's song. Though this song was a bit more unlikely of a find than Money Was. Money was at least known in the United States. This tune was unknown everywhere. Devil in His Heart was written by Richard Drapkin and was recorded in 1962 by the Detroit R&V group The Donays. Sadly, Devil in His Heart did not chart in the United States, but it did get a very small release in the UK where it also did not chart. Soon after the release of their one and only record, the Danaes broke up. See, the Danaes were discovered at a high school talent show, and many of the girls were still in high school. I think one of them was only 15 years old. So the parents decided they did not want their kids uh, skipping out on their education to run off and join the music business. So the Danaes and their recording of Devil in His Heart were not a success in any way, and they would both be virtually forgotten by this point if the Beatles hadn't found their record, recorded it, and sold it to over a million people. Things to listen for in this song. Obviously, this is a, a George Harrison lead vocal, which is uh, amazing. It, we don't get George singing lead too much in another band. He could very well be the lead singer with maybe a little bit of confidence, but uh, in this recording, he uh, holds his own as he always does. Ringo's drumming, as usual, is uh, very simple. Uh, the highlight for him in the song is the opening drum fill, which is from the Donays album for the most part, um, but a great, great intro from Ringo. My favorite part of this tune are the vocals on the third bridge. On the first two bridges, John and Paul just sing Oz behind George, but on the third bridge on the lyrics, uh, don't take chances if your romance is so important to you, which great. Great lyric, by the way, points to Richard Draken. But uh, on those lyrics, John and Paul uh, sing them alongside George in their harmonies, and it just gives that bridge a little extra punch. Now, I know what you're all wondering. Are there any mistakes in this song? There sure are. There's one huge, huge mistake in this recording. So on the intro, George plays the guitar lick from the Danae's album, which goes something like this. plays that lick again at the end of the song when the chorus is getting repeated a few times, but the big mistake that he makes is he starts playing the lick one measure too early. He instantly stops after the first hit, and then he, he gets back on track, but you can hear it on the original recording, and you'll be able to hear it in my version as well, George coming in a little early. Last thing to listen for in this tune is the final chord of the song, uh, which should be a little familiar to you if... Uh, you've been following the series up to this point. So like with the Barrett Strong version of Money, the Donay's version of Devil in His Heart fades out at the end. And for whatever reason, in both cases, the Beatles decided not to do that, and they decided to give it a, a proper ending. And the Beatles end uh, their recording of this tune with a G6 over 9. Still not sure if that's how you say that. Please let me know if I'm saying that wrong. But uh, it sounds a little something like this. Should sound a little familiar because that is the same chord that ends You've Really Got a Hold on Me and the Decca Record versions of Hello Little Girl and Like Dreamers Do. So please enjoy this Beatles cover of the Danae's Devil in His Heart, which of course the Beatles changed to Devil in Her Heart. This is Beatles song number 36. She's got the devil in her heart, but her eyes ain't satellites. She's gonna tear your heart apart, oh her lips ain't really thrill me. I'll take my chances for romance so important to me. She'll never hurt me, she won't desert me. 
she's an angel sent to me. She's got the devil in her heart. No, no, this I can't believe. She's gonna tear your heart apart. No, no, nay, will she deceive. I can't believe that she'll ever, ever go. Not when she hugs me and says she loves me so. Hey!